When Raji in Ancient Epic first appeared as part of Nintendo's Indie World Direct, I was excited to see a culture so underrepresented in video games to get some time in the limelight. It's rare for video games to tackle a story that hasn't been touched by the industry and as someone unfamiliar with Indian culture, I was invested in learning more. Sadly, despite the fascinating story, Raji still had to prove it could also be a good video game. Years after the war between the demons and the gods, the demons come back to Earth, seeking revenge on the gods that imprisoned them. In the middle of the war, we play as Raji, a young orphan chosen by the gods to take on the demons battling against humanity. At the same time, Raji is trying to save her brother who was kidnapped by the demons during the fall of Jagar. Gifted with the powers of the gods, Raji sets out on saving her brother and restoring peace to humanity once again. The deep dive into Indian mythology while the gods commentate on Raji's actions was an interesting way to tell a story that in itself was one so rarely tackled in video games. That uniqueness provided a fresh story to bite into, I just wish I could say the gameplay followed along with it. When it comes to gameplay, Raji feels like a cross between an Uncharted game and a top-down action game like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. On paper, that sounds pretty darn awesome to me, and in practice, it's cool, just not executed very well. Over the course of its 7 hour campaign, Raji is able to unlock 4 types of weapons with the ability to switch between them, though I usually found myself sticking to the first weapon that proved to be consistently useful. In addition to these weapons, we were able to unlock elements that further enhance these weapons with elemental attributes. Lightning, for example, is able to stun enemies in their place, letting you land some serious combo damage. These elements can get further boosted using the points you find scattered across levels. You can rearrange these points into other elements too, and while that was nice, that just meant I could change the elements in progression on the fly, so using my points on a certain element never really had a lasting impact or risk. Regardless of that, I never wanted to dive into the upgrade menus anyway, as they're not the most well designed. Navigating the UI feels cumbersome. Switching between elements is controlled with the shoulder buttons and activated with the B button over the traditional A button. It just feels a bit rushed and not well thought out. The combat itself is fun. I love the use of the environmental cues that let me use the objects around me to perform aerial attacks. It almost feels like it has some sort of Devil May Cry combat DNA in it, but not to its full potential. Platforming also felt a bit cumbersome with the fixed camera not always focusing on the main subject or platform. This often led to me jumping blindly, and the already so-so detection on the platforms made platforming hard enough. In terms of its art style and presentation, Raji leans into its Indian mythology both in story and graphics, and it's better for it. Seeing the mural artwork across stages retell the story of the gods was a great parallel to the gods commentating on the gameplay. Cutscenes between stages look like ancient paintings drawn in the Pahari art style. While I love the presentation, it's sadly weakened by the alarming performance drawbacks. Although it is coming to other consoles in the future, as a Nintendo Switch timed exclusive, there are multiple apparent moments that the gameplay struggles to maintain a stable performance. Shadow Puppin plagues the backdrops of most stages, and the frame rate dips plague what's supposed to be some of the most cinematic moments. Accompanying the already pretty shoddy platforming, the performance drawbacks here are quite annoying. That's yet to mention the 900p dock resolution that, with very low quality textures, comes off as messy. I'm happy to say that Raji doesn't miss a beat when it comes to its music and audio design. The music here is ingrained in Hindu culture and helps convey the mythology being told throughout the story. The voice acting is also solid, specifically with the Hindu gods commentating over my actions. Where I think the audio could use a bit of work though is in the mixing of music. Songs are context sensitive and so you'll hear more epic fast paced songs during the cinematic events, but the transition between these events is abrupt and sudden. I wish a bit more thought went into how these songs could transition better between each other. I wish Raji had polished and stellar gameplay to accompany its unique story. I really wanted to enjoy this game, and it's rare for us to have games tackling these sorts of foreign themes, and while I don't want to dwindle their voices, I can't recommend Raji at its current state. Hopefully with the release on more powerful platforms, it'll at least become a more stable game, although that won't fix a lot of the game design issues I have with it.